Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is ramandeep singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is rbi's regulated entities right so let's start the session my name is ramandeep singh and i've been teaching on bank exams for the last 13 years and uh, we are offering ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 2024 course on bankexamstudy.com in which we are providing video classes notes quizzes test series and interview preparation guidance link is available in the description you can check right so let's start the session with the first rbi's uh, subsidiary or uh, department you can call it the rbi has established comprehensive system for lodging complaints against its banks and regulated entities right so what is the purpose of the cms complaint management system so you can file cases you can file complaints against any bank or any regulated entities like any nbfc right so it's a complaint management system what is the eligibility the system is open to all uh, right so anybody can file any customer of a bank can file complaint against any regulated entity like bank nbfc urban cooperative banks right payment system participant anybody right registration first of all you need to go to the regulated entity right for example if you have a concern with the bank you need to raise a complaint with them and if your problem if your grievance is not solved within 30 days then you can go to the complaint management system if you have any issue with the bank right and it has not been solved you go to sbi right and you have an atm with sbi right and your payment failed right and uh the money has been deducted from your account and you went to sbi requesting that there is a problem in your system and give my money back and the sbi do not solve your problem within 30 days then you can go to the complaint management system so 30 day period is there you need to give them 30 days and then give 30 days to the the complaint uh, management system they will solve your problem right so you can track the the problem with the ticket id the complaint id we call it here the complaint id and the resolution time is 30 days from the receipt of the problem so rb aims to solve your problem within 30 days okay so what is a primary platform provided by rbi for lodging complaints against banks and other regulated entities it is cms portal we call it cms portal and this is an important question right who can file complaint through rbi cms any individual or entity against an rbi regulated entity you can file the complaint how long rbi aims to resolve complaints through cms platform within 30 days they try to solve all the problems within 30 days now the next important app by the rbi that is mobile aided note identifier or the money app very important topic right so what is the purpose it's a free mobile app it's called it's known as money app is a free mobile app what's the full form mobile aided note identifier mobile aided note identifier the purpose of the this app is this app is designed to assist visually impaired individuals in identifying the denomination of indian rupee bank notes so for example you have a note with you let's say a visually impaired person cannot identify that it is a 100 rupee note right with the help of this app now he can identify this is a 100 rupee note right this app does not help anybody to find the genuineness of the note it just uh, you know helps him to identify the denomination so you use your camera smartphone to identify the denomination of the note and this app works offline you do not need internet all the times and it enhances the accessibility during day to day transactions of visually uh, you know challenged users and what are the limitations it do not authenticate the genuineness of the bank notes it solely focused on uh, you know finding the denomination of Uh, of the note right and that's all about the money app what is the purpose of money app to identify the denomination of indian rupee bank notes that's all it do not uh, you know test the genuineness of the notes it, it do not uh, right how does money app assist visually impaired users 
by identifying the denomination of banknotes through audio or vibrations. That's all. I do not check the genuineness. Okay. The RBI Museum is in Mumbai and that's all you need to know about this, right? And it serves as the repository of country's banking history, right? And that's all about it. So it is located in Mumbai, right? The purpose is to document India's monetary heritage. And now this is important. RBI Retail Direct. So what is the purpose of RBI Retail Direct? So as her name suggests, it provides retail investors with easier access to government securities, including T-bills, sovereign gold bonds and other central and state government securities. Now retail investor can directly buy the government securities through RBI Retail Direct app, right? So it's very convenient. No brokerage account or DMAT account is required for this, right? Retail investors can participate in the primary auction. So directly primary auction means directly through government, you can participate. Okay. And even in the secondary market, you can buy and sell government securities on NDS own platform in odd lot and request for quotes through RDG account. And you don't need to pay anything, any maintenance fee for the RDG accounts, right? So now that is important through NDS own platform, you can buy or sell government securities that is a secondary market. Okay. So what is the main purpose of RBA Retail Direct? To provide easier access to government securities for retail investors. Easier access to government securities for retail investors. What can retail investors do in the primary issuance of government securities through RBA Retail Direct? They can place non-competitive bids. Okay. Udgam portal. Now this is also very important. What is the purpose? It is an online resource designed to help you find unclaimed deposits you may have in Indian banks. So it's an online resource designed to help you find unclaimed deposits you may have in the Indian banks. So there is a 90% coverage of unclaimed deposit. How? Because it is covering 30 banks. There is a data of 30 banks. Uh, in the Udgam portal, right? So Udgam allows you to search for unclaimed deposits across multiple banks in one place, saving your time and effort, right? So it focuses on unclaimed deposit. And this is important Udgam portal, right? So put Udgam portal designed uh, to track and claim unclaimed deposits in Indian bank. And what are the benefits? It provides centralized search for deposits across multiple banks. You may have like five, six, seven, ten accounts in your lifetime. And sometimes people forget about it. Sometimes the, there are fatal injuries. Sometimes people are in coma and they die, right? And there are unclaimed deposits with these banks. But now with the help of Udgam portal, you can search, uh, you know, these bank accounts and the balances in these bank accounts. And then you can claim your money back from uh, these bank accounts directly from Udgam portal. Very, very useful portal, I would say. And there is 90% coverage and 30 banks are covered here. RBI kehta hai, jankar baniye, satark rahiye. This is uh, an awareness campaign launched by RBI. Amitabh Bachchan, he is a brand ambassador. To educate people about safe banking and financial practices, right? And the campaign, uh, you know, empowers the people with the knowledge and the tools they need to protect themselves, right? So key messages, be informed, stay updated about latest banking and financial scams and frauds, all the digital uh, banking scams that are happening. People take your OTP and they do the fraud, stay vigilant, be secure, be responsible and be aware, right? Do not share your password, do not share your pins, OTPs, right? Do not share your mobiles. Avoid unsolicited calls, emails, messages, avoid clicking on any unknown link, right? And the campaign covers a wide range of topics, right? Online banking safety, ADM safety, card safety, financial fraud and investment safety. So the main objective of the RBI is Jankar Baniye Satark Rahiye, educate about safe banking and financial practices. And what should you do to protect your passwords, pins and OTPs through this campaign? Use strong passwords and never share them. And the last one, the Pravah portal. 
बाय आर बी आई द प्रभा पोर्टल इज अ सिक्योर सेंट्रलाइज वेब प्लेटफॉर्म लॉन्च बाय आर बी आई एंड इट अलाउज इंडिविजुअल एंड एंटिटीज टू अप्लाई फॉर वेरियस रेगुलेटरी अप्रूवल सीमलेसली फ्रॉम वन प्लेटफॉर्म डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम वन प्लेटफॉर्म सो इट मेक्स ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस सिंपल यू कैन फाइल योर एप्लीकेशन यू कैन ट्रैक योर एप्लीकेशन स्टेटस respond to for the clarification receive decision in time bond manner right so that's that's what prava is all about to apply for various regulatory approval online that is the purpose of prava and i hope you like the today's session and if you need the full course you can go to bankexamstudy.com link is available in the description the ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 2024 course in which we are providing video classes the notes quizzes test series live sessions and interview preparation guidance and this is our whatsapp number you can make a whatsapp call here or you can just drop a whatsapp message and we are going to help you out so that's i guess all for today students thank you and have a very nice day list of our successful students in the past all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and you will be one of them in the future and that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye bye